Okay. My assistant Claire is out of the office today. <laughs> so we'll start just us. Feel your feet in the floor. Get nice and tall. Take your breath and notice where it is. Accept where you're feeling your breath the most. Let's see if we can find that. And see if you can detect where tension might be preventing your breath from flowing freely. Let's see if you can be okay with that. Accept those spaces as they are. And from this space, this newly calmed space in the mind, go ahead and set your intention. Think about what you would like to focus on today. And seal in your intention if you like. Take that mudra, Anjali mudra, hands coming together at heart center, get nice and tall. Dropping your chin down towards your fingers. Let your shoulders relax. And then we'll go ahead and lift, lift the gaze and drop your hands. It's Mindful Monday. We're practicing mindfully as we always do, but I kind of put a more of an emphasis on Mondays. Um, so we're going to start with the head position. So jutting your chin, your whole face actually, not just your chin, <laughs> face comes forward and then press your head back. The two fingers on the chin, it's just a, a gentle reminder of movement. Also helps to block your double chin if you're worried about that. Okay, so these next, let's do about four more. Hold the press back for an extra second. Bring your face forward and fold back. Make sure you're breathing. Last one, press it back. Good, and then let's shrug both shoulders up. And we're gonna linger and then lower as far as you can go too. So sometimes we just drop the shoulders and don't realize, oh, they can go a little bit further. So let's play around with that. See how high up you can take them and then see how low you can take your shoulders. Let somebody else in the room. We'll do a couple more of those. Shrugging up, mindfully lowering. Last one. Ah, there we go, that feels wonderful. We're gonna take the arms and actually take them straight out in front of us. We'll do our hand and arm stretch. So I've got the fingers spread out as wide as they'll go. And then I'm going to curl the fingers down and then point, point them down. So curl and flip them up. Start breathing in case you were holding your breath. All right. And then this time we're going to curl into little paws and keep the hands in those little fists and do the same thing. So nodding. And notice where you're feeling the stretch. Not just going through the motions like we, we all do sometimes. So notice I feel more of a stretch on the top of my arms. Go around in the other way. I don't feel any kind of stretch on my forearm. Okay. And then let it go. Just give them a nice solid shake. <laughs> nice and low. And medium. And up high. And then pause for effect so you can feel what you feel. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and go into our twist. So we're going to come out toward the edge of the chair and we'll, we'll twist a little bit more today I think. So we're going to aim the belly button over toward the right leg, take a minimal twist and then come back. We'll do the same on the left. Just a minimal little just thinking of belly button going toward me 
and then come back. And with the twisting sequence, it's always nice to remember to lean forward if you can do a little bit or not. You can have your legs a little further apart if you like. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the right, twisting to the right, and then aim your heart a little bit more towards your right. Inhale back to your center, and exhale, we've got belly and then heart. Ooh, that feels so good. Just kind of waking up through that twist. Come back to your center, lean forward. And come back up. Make sure your head's back square over those shoulders. We're going to this time twist belly and heart. And then maybe your arms just depends. And we'll be here for a couple of breaths. You can look over your right shoulder if you like to think about deepening the stretch. One more breath. On your inhale, come back to your center. Good. When you're ready to exhale, start with imagining just your belly's moving, then your chest, your heart, maybe your head. Good. Take a few breaths. On your inhale, come back to your center and lean forward. arms right on back out again. This time bend and grab your elbows and everything's shoulder height or lower, right? So we'll, we'll start out with the sequence looking at our elbows as we're taking them side to side. So now you can think about the twist here. How does this feel in your spine and your upper back? And then we'll add more or less the, the neck parts, right? So we're gonna take the elbows over to your right and look to your left. Make sure you're breathing and come back through the center, do the same on the other side, back and forth, just one more time. And then come back, yep. When you're done with both sides evenly, come back and we'll, we'll roll one shoulder back at a time. little swimming back to a neutral mountain pose and we'll go into our lateral stretch so we'll just tip it over side to side you can add an arm reach if you prefer holding on to the chair might be a great idea all right so pick a side probably your first side you went over to i've already forgotten which side i did first so Pick a side and hold into the stretch. And we want to hold it where we're comfortable, not where we think we should be. But I've got my palm facing forward in order to better stretch through the armpit. If you'd like to change the direction of your stretch, see if you want to do your palm down. Use your core muscles and come back to your center. And feel the imbalance. See if you're clenching your teeth. Try to soften in your mouth and in your eyebrows. Then we're gonna just do the other side. We'll stay there for a breath or so. See what you're, if you're holding tension anywhere, compare sides. Engage your core muscles to come back. Oh, that feels lovely. Let's isolate the spine. We're gonna do our cat cow starting with the pelvis tilting your pelvis forward and then back our inhale is when the pelvis comes forward tailbone is peaking back the exhale tailbone come kind of swoopy under I don't want to say tuck they frown upon that <laughs> we're gonna to start to go into the belly and the low back maybe the chest in the upper back, maybe a little bit into the neck. We're working our way all the way up, addressing the whole lovely spine through our cat cow and with the breath. And then you can park it back into mountain pose and see if you can feel, get in touch with your intention. We'll move on. Let's go ahead and stay hydrated. We'll scoot back and let's go into the knees. Knees, knees. 
All right, so right leg, left arm, opposite arm, leg on your exhale, float everything down. But with awareness, we worked on this last week, with awareness into the, the, um, the alignment of your legs. So our knee has a chance to strengthen there's my assistant. Hi, Claire. She threw my balance off. <laughs> on your inhale, lengthen, stretch. Pull your toes back on your exhale. Come all the way back down. All right, no arms, right leg. Let's do just a, about four of these. Just leg, we'll call them leg lifts. Bend back as far as your chair will allow, or your knee, actually, most importantly. There's three and four. Give it a little squeeze here, a little extra. Um, and then pull your toes back, curl and point. Good. Check in with your posture. So just at your ankle joint. And then when we go to circle the foot, isolate your leg so the whole leg's not moving. So you're cleaning the inside of a jar with your sock. Go around in the other direction. Good. And then float your foot down. Take a look at your feet, two different colors. Unless you have shoes on. All right, other leg is coming out and back about four times. And then we're gonna hold. Let's point and flex with the extra toe movement if you like. So I'm curl curling the toes and pointing and then spreading them and pulling them back. And then isolate that leg so the whole leg's not moving. It's just at the ankle joint, circling slowly and mindfully. And breathing and checking in good posture. We're going around the other way. And then you can, whoop, my knee just popped, and lower the foot. We'll come out toward the edge of the chair. Uh, let's work into the hip joints. So we can be nice and comfortable in that space. We're going just back and forth here with the leg. Exhale, draw your knee in. Inhale, move your knee away. You can hold on in front of your knee like I'm doing or underneath. If it feels good, you can find a place to hold here. Try it with a straight spine and see what you feel. And then a rounded spine. We'll straighten the spine back out. Good. You can drop your toes. We'll start kind of easy and see if, see if that is enough with the toes dropped if you want a little bit more. We're going to be working a little bit more on hip strength today. You can pick up your foot and let it go side to side. If you like, you can circle your leg. Uh, lost my voice. Circle it around the other way. And then we'll plop it down. And then considering hip strength, if you want to hip walk all the way back. And then forward again. And then we'll do the same sequence on the other side. You want to feel first? It's kind of, I don't feel a whole lot because we're just seated and we're working the seated parts. Um, but you might just bend some if you were tight, tight, tight before. All right, we're going back and forth with awareness into the, um, the alignment. Hip, knee, ankle on that same plane. And then you can hug your knee in only if it's comfortable. We'll try it with a straight spine. And then maybe a, an arched spine, never forcing it though. And we'll straighten the spine back out. And whoops, you can drop your foot and see if that's enough. And that is wonderful. Always listening to your body, making any kind of modifications as you need to. Circling the leg in both directions. All right, and then let's plop that foot down. I think let's let's do our our lunge next, and then we'll do some strengthening. So we'll we'll windshield wiper first, taking your feet. Wide, lifting your heels and dropping your knees. You can turn and look away from your knees if you want to involve more of the spine. So watch your knees. If you're 
if that's uncomfortable to go really far, just do a little bit or nothing at all, right? Oh, we'll do a couple more. <laughs> all right, then, then we can come into our seated lunge. You can turn off the side of your chair or still face the front and your leg can hang off of the side. <clears throat> you wanna feel comfortable in your chair, of course, and with that knee, let's take the arm up only if it feels right. Take even a stretch. We'll take a total of five more breaths here. Belly breath. So if you feel like you're bringing your breath first in your chest, redirect it into the belly first. Well, I shouldn't have taught. Now I forget to count. So probably one more breath. But if you wanted to shoot your arm over and arch it over your head, you can do that. Um, when you feel ready, you can drop your arm. Good. Use your pelvic floor and your core muscles to bring that leg and park it back. And then we can mindfully take that trip over to the other side. Here we are at the other side. See where you need to go. Everything's lined up. We'll be here for about five breaths. say about five breaths so it's probably six <sighs> who's counting use your core muscles bring it back all the way back to your mountain pose and take a couple of cat cows around in the spine finish your exhale on your inhale lift up through your heart and squeeze your shoulder blades together get in a little practice for good posture Take a pause when you're ready. Come back to mountain pose and just check in. Notice your heartbeat. That's a mindful practice. What else can you notice? The hands, are they warm? Are they cold? Notice your shoulders, are they slightly creeping up or are they dropped as far away from the ears as they can go? Here comes some work if you if you would like. <laughs> I'm scooting to the edge of the chair ish, the edge ish. <clears throat> and so back to more of a, a functional practice. So working on leg strength, hip strength. Um, and this goes for uh, stepping over things or just walking in general. So it's in my training I've learned that if we exaggerate the movements in a practice or in a workout, then a normalized less exaggeration will help in our everyday lives, um, help with our tripping and things like that, more stability, I should say. All right, so let's think about grounding through the left leg, core is engaged, and just pick up your right leg and then set it back down. Grounding, that's strengthening, right? So I can feel the work and then picking up your other leg. And this might be where you're at, right? That's wonderful. And just going back and forth with a, I would call it a very slow motion, mindful march. And we're breathing. So there, therefore, in my mind, it's yoga. <laughs> so you can exhale and inhale. Exhale, push and lift and release. And then I'll let you decide if you want to do that again or if you want to take it to the next level of effort, picking it up and slowly reaching over and pressing into the floor. So you get two presses. Pick up, return, and press. Good. Pick up, return, and press. So if anything, needless to say, but I'm saying it anyway because I know that I like to push through pain. So it's good to hear over and over. If anything is like, oh, that catches or doesn't feel quite right in the hip or the low back or anywhere, then do less. It's okay. I'm doing one more. Slow and mindful so we can get the quality movements. 
We're gonna come back and do, maybe we'll do a little cat cow, one or two. <clears throat> and then maybe come back up to mountain, take your feet a little wider, we'll go a little, do some torso circles. I feel like that's a lot of work already. <laughs> Maybe I'm just exhausted because I mowed the lawn this morning. I'll be glad when I don't have to do that anymore. Okay, let's do the other side. So don't forget this leg. It's our stabilizer. That would be your right leg. Core is engaged. And we're just going to pick it up. Decide if you want to do the back and forth like we did earlier a second ago. Or if you want to pick it up and press. Is e even Steven, right? Pick up. And return. Okay. See how far over you'd like to go. So I'm trying. I should have said this on the other side. So we can. We'll do it again with what I'm about to say. <sighs> I'll leave it a secret for now. Okay. Let's do one more. Pick it up. Here, like a robot. Bam. And come back. Return in neutralize. So whatever your body wants to do, some circles, some cat cows. Hmm, you know what might feel really good here is an extended mountain, just a stretch through the belly. Good, cactus, and stretch through your fingers, and release, good. All right, so now we're gonna stabilize on this side, right, just like before. And instead of leaning and using momentum in the torso, leaning and doing that, see if we can keep the torso upright. So maybe hands can go on the hips and pick up the leg and then press. Ooh. And return. Well, I'll, let's go side to side this time. Pick it up, step it over, press. I feel like if I'm more stabilized here, I'm going not as far on my legs. That's what I'm feeling today. Okay, one more to each side. Does that make you want to speed up? Oof. All right. And then we're going to scoot to the edge. Yeah. We'll take a seated variation of down dog. Up. Mm, I think while we're here, usually Mondays we stay seated a little longer. Okay, I'll go ahead and, and do that just for a few more poses. So we're picking up the, the right leg and stepping it off to the side and then the left leg. So we'll do this variation, if you like, of um, warrior two, or that's what I'm instructing. So torso stays over hips. We'll just start with our little fingertips together for alignment. Bring the arms out, press into the floor with your feet, and let's turn our heads side to side here. So easy peasy when we're seated. Imagine what it will feel like when you're standing in regards to balance. And are you breathing? Good. I said good. I assume you're all breathing. <laughs> and then come back to look over in the over direction over your heart. We're going to flip the palms up and press into your feet as if you were standing to reach skyward. Bring the palms together down to heart center. Use your core muscles to bring your legs back. Good. If you were standing, this is where you would take a nice down dog, but I'm going to do my pretend down dog. Leaning forward, you can reach forward. It's not pretend, it's still real, it's just a different variation. All right, we're coming back up. Good, take a pause. Notice where tension might be held. See if you can be okay with that and breathe into it. And check in with your intention. All right, go to the other side. Well, there is no other side because we'll, we'll just start looking over to our, our left. Your left, keep pushing into the floor with your feet, turn and look over your right fingers, and just go back and forth a few times. Check in with your breath. Back 
through your center, flip your palms up, and push into the floor to extend, bring the palms together down to heart center. Wonderful. Use your core muscles to bring your legs back. And if you're already standing, you can take a chair pose. If you're seated, you can stay seated or you can start to come up into your chair pose for a breath or so. And then you come all the way up to standing. Um, if you're staying seated, which is definitely an option, do some torso circles. If you're standing, it would be hip circles. Side. We just want to bring movement in without locking the knees. Gentle, gentle. All right. And then we can take another down dog. If you're seated, take that seated variation or a cat cow. I'm going to walk the feet back, start with those knees bent and lengthen through the spine. If it feels too much on your shoulders, you can move closer to your chair. Feel free to pedal your feet and walk your dog. All right, then today we're gonna to look forward, take a little baby step forward. If you're standing, and I'm gonna put the weight onto the left foot and pick up the right leg and hover for a second. This is a little core, sneak some core in. If it bothers your low back, just go ahead and lower your leg early. And then I'm going to take a big old step and shift the back foot so it's angled to make your hip comfortable in your warrior one. So here we are, knees bent over ankles, shoulders over hips, and we have, remember that head positioning. You can take your arms and reach them to the sky. Relax the shoulders. Warrior one, take a breath or two. When you're ready, on your exhale, lower your arms. We're going to use the core muscles and take it just a little step back. Reposition your back foot because we're going to hover that same leg again. So hover. Slow motion, slow motion, and then step it back and re-stretch into your down dog. Think about what you're stretching. So sometimes um, people who are newer to class, they're not really sure, what, what am I supposed to feel? And, and the brave ones will come up to me after class and ask me. And I always say the politically correct answer is wherever you're the tightest. So oftentimes for me, I'll feel it in my low back or the legs, the back of the legs, the calf muscles. Where else can you feel it? Well, if I wiggle around, I feel it on that side of the, the, the body there, the hip, the IT band. All right, we gotta do the other side. So let's look forward. Mindfully engage your stomach muscles. Pick up your left leg. Take a breath. And remember, this isn't supposed to hurt. We're building strength. And then slowly step forward and adjust your back foot. So we don't want to leave the toes pointing forward. It's they're angled out a little bit. And then your hippies hurt, go forward, knees up to the ankle, shoulders over hips. Maybe one arm if your balance is wonky, two arms if your balance is good today. Well, our balance is always good, isn't it? It's always improved. I shouldn't say go to that. <laughs> so one more breath. Relax your shoulders, soften your hands onto your chair. Take the, the foot adjustments that you're gonna need to hover that front leg if you choose to. So I'm gonna bring it up. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the work and then step it back. We're coming back all the way into enjoy your down dog. This time notice what your face muscles are doing. Are they clenching? Keeping your head above your heart. Bend both knees and mindfully step your feet forward into an 
upward facing dog. Press into your chair, lift up through your heart. We were folded a little forward for quite a long time, so we need to reverse that. Balance it out, I should say. Soften your knees, lift up through your heart. Good, and then come back to neutral spine, so mountain pose. Yeah. And then considering that IT band, sometimes I have requests for that in other classes. So let's see how we can deeply stretch that. And that's more for standing. You'll feel it a little bit more. Um, if you're seated, you could go into that lunge position that we were doing. So I'm going to make sure my posture is upright and not leaning forward. So I'm just going to tip side to side. And right there, I feel a little stretch. Knees are make, make sure your knees are not locked. And then tip. So we're not going with the breath, we're going with how, we're, how it feels. Go till you feel a stretch. If you're not feeling a stretch, you can take an elbow up or a whole arm up. And making sure that the goal isn't just to lift your arm in the air, it's to align it. So we can have that definite alignment going on through that side body. There we go, I feel it all the way through that side, oh, that side body. And then you can come back and feel the imbalance. <laughs> and we can try the same thing on the other side. So again, you could imagine you're up against the wall, right? And that'll put you into alignment for sure. Yeesh. And this doesn't work for everybody. Some people's shoulders are like, nope, I'm not going past here. And in that case, you go back here. You still feel a nice stretch. Use your core muscles for coming back. Oof. I think we've done a lot of down dogs, so we're gonna do a standing cat cow to balance things out. So we'll bend the knees a lot, round the spine, do an exhale on your inhale, lift up through your heart. On your exhale, tuck your chin, round your spine. The moment's using ab abdominals to push into the spine. On your inhale, lift up through your heart. One more. And there we are. So we'll take our feet a little bit wider and just get our little kidney taps on. <clears throat> you can pick up a heel and find a nice twist here. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna slow the momentum down. And then take your feet a little wider Standing variation if you choose for warrior two. Turning your right toes. And there's your your chest is level. Shoulders over hips, arms coming out. If you want to challenge your balance, you can turn your head and look again at the looking at your right fingers. And then maybe turning and looking like we did see it. If your balance is okay. Looking over towards your left. Good. We're going back to the, the starting point and we'll flip the palms up, turn your gaze over your heart and go ahead and stretch up. You can straighten your knee if you feel comfortable doing that and turning your toes. So get a full extended mountain, wide legged. Make sure your knees are not locking and we'll bring the palms together down to heart center. Sink your feet in just a little bit, a little bit more. And take a wide legged chair pose. Flow. If you're seated, you can do that push squeeze where you're pushing into the floor with your feet, squeezing an imaginary block between your legs. Good. And then we'll come up, shake things off. And hydrate. Let's see what it feels like on the other side. So we'll go, we'll do our warrior two to the left. Left toes are turning, bending into left knee. Square your torso up. Root, we'll bring those arms out. Good. And then we'll start looking at the left finger, the tip of the finger to be precise. Check in with your breath. If your breath is short and, and has that mode of like, yikes, then maybe you just stay looking in that direction. 
If you want an extra balance challenge, you can turn and look towards your left finger, or right close to your right finger. Back to your left. One more head turn. Shoot. All right. And then we'll go ahead and flip the palms up. Gaze comes over the heart. Straighten your leg, turn your toes, arms can come up, and experience this extension for a second. And then we'll bring the palms together down the heart center. Sneak your little feet in a little bit and take another chair pose. Yay. And then we'll come back. So bring your feet up a little closer together however they're comfortable and we'll get mindful again in mountain pose feel those feet interlace your fingers stretch your palms away tuck your chin on your inhale lift those arms on your exhale release and then we'll add that heart opener so today i think we'll just do we'll start here if you prefer i've got shoulder blades coming together palms are rotating open and then come back to neutral. Do that same sequence again. Interlace fingers. Palms move away on your exhale. Chin is tucking. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Oh, that was away from the wall. Then you can go back here or take it to the next level when they need. I don't want to use the word level, but it's, it's a deeper stretch. So fist to low back. Just take a breath or so. Nice posture reversal, right? And then come back, make sure we're not locking knees, and we'll do one more of these. No, two more, and balance it out. So interlace, exhale, inhale, exhale. Choose A, B, or maybe you interlace your fingers. Not everybody likes to do that. Um, it's a deeper, deeper stretch. All right, uh, and then come back to neutral. Check in with your knees, make sure they're not locking. Last one, interlace fingers, exhale, tuck your chin. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. And then inhale, pick one of the positions as a heart opener, here, here, or interlace. Come back gently, gently. Find your mountain pose. And what we don't often do is listen to our body. So you're tuned in to either watching the video or on Zoom. You expect me to say, well, do this and do this next as a suggestion. But what if we tuned into what the body needs? So sometimes there's like that urge, a sensation going into down dog or the hip circles. So I'm going to stay in mountain pose for two breaths while you figure out what the body's telling you. Maybe it's stillness, right? Good. All right. And then let's, we'll balance again. Well, yay. So when we were seated, and those of you guys who are staying seated, you can do the same thing that we did earlier. So let's Putting your weight into, let's start with your right leg. And then picking up your left leg. Hi, Claire. And then see if you can keep your torso upright. Yeah. So a very slow motion march. If you're feeling it in your low back, lower your leg. Or don't do that one at all. So I'm going to switch the feet. Grounding. Core is engaged. The other leg comes up. You can do whatever you like with your hands. You can hover them over the chair, be in prayer hands, your Anjali Mudra, do your robot. And then lower your leg. So that's a lot of strain on the back. Um, we can't really strengthen a lot without adding the opportunity for strain. So let's be nice to the low back and move it around. And then maybe we'll add our brain exercise while we're doing the balance. Whoa, maybe. 
So if you want to take a seat, you can do that. We're doing the same thing, so the leg lift <laughs> or a heel. I'm going to try it with my heel lifted. And it's itsy bits of spider time. So index finger and thumb, index finger and thumb. So if your balance is okay, you can pick up your foot. If your balance is okay today, I should say. Finding something to stare at that's not moving. If not, you can do this, right? You can drop your toes. And then come back that foot back into the earth. Let's do the other side. Same thing, it's a bit of spider, index finger and thumb, index finger and thumb. Are you breathing? <laughs> All right, and then release. Good. <laughs> sequence on the itsy bitsy spider but let's let's play around a little bit more with balance before we take a seat so it's weight into the right leg left leg is lifted and this time we're maybe gonna step it off to the side like we did yep like we did seated and if you're seated you do the same thing mindfully pick it up whoops <laughs> and then return okay Good. switch sides because we're familiar with this, right? We don't need to do the same side over and over for muscle memory. And then we're, once we're here, we're gonna pick it up, push off, and slowly try to come back. You could do this with a chair. You're still getting strength. So I'm trying to be mindful of core engagements, of how much my torso is trying to help with momentum. I don't want to cheat. We're pick it up and return. Yeah, good idea, Victoria. We'll do that. Um, so, and she's added her arms like we did last week, those push arms or prepare yourself arms, right? That's one thing I, I remember learning. I took karate in back in college. I think I got my yellow belt. So I'm not any kind of a genius with karate, but I, I believe firmly that just like with our hand movements, repetition over time creates that muscle memory. And then we're not even thinking about it. So if you assemble, you, you take these positions and put them into play, bam. All right, last one. And then come back. And we did a lot of asymmetry, so let's Take it to a symmetric strengthener. We'll take a seat. We'll use chair pose. <clears throat> and then, as promised, we'll do a little bit more of the bitsy bitsy spider. I'll come up closer to the screen for those of you guys who are watching on video. Um, so, usually, we do the traditional an index so if that's too easy going up and back down you can do middle finger and thumb which is something that we're not used to our brain's not used to it so it feels awkward but the more we practice it the easier it gets and a master at itsy bitsy spider at this point <laughs> i'll put that on my email master itsy bitsy spider um doer <laughs> We're on the pinky if you wanted to do the pinky. Um, uh, and then when you're done, you're done with that, right? Rub those hands together. Uh, act as if you're putting on lotion. You're really trying to rub it in. Okay. Um, take a pause. Take a moment. Feel the vibrancy in your hands. Feel your alignment. It's a nice practice to do throughout the day when you're at the computer, reading a book, check in with your alignment. And take a seated twist. We'll do that. So we'll twist to the right. Relax the shoulders. 
you can nod your head at the knees. I'm looking, my face is trying to, I'm trying to see and touch that right shoulder. Well, I'm not touching it, but I'm nodding to it. And then gently bring everything back to neutral, neutral, neutral. Take a breath. When you're ready to exhale, you can twist to your left. The same thing. I'm going to try to do that nodding over towards my shoulder. And then bring everything back to neutral very slowly. Wonderful. You can cat cow again. And um, let's come toward the edge and, and reach forward. And then we'll come back up and extend your mountain. And bring the palms together and rub your hands together. And mindfully place some, some good thoughts into your, into your paws. <laughs> so we'll do our, our, our brush stroking on your right leg, lightly brush stroking up different parts of your battle with back to me there. Into the groin, our left leg, and the left groin. Just the abdomen. The right arm. The armpit with an extra stretch in that space. And reach out to the edges of your chest uh, and take that tap and humor walk to the tops of your ears. And from here, take your thumbs, find the very base of your skull where it connects to your neck. And work your way out to find your earlobes, peace fingers, sandwich your earlobes. Get some nice firm circles there. And then the bottom of your jawbone, lightly brush stroke to the chin. Down the front of your throat to your heart. And if you're in a cooler climate, you might want to grab a blanket to cover up so you can get comfortable. I like the added weight, so that feels nice. Um, and it's calming to the nervous system. But if you're in a hot climate, climate like I am right now, then we don't need to do that. We're going to think temperature balancing thoughts as we're breathing in. And breathing out. So you can let your eyes close or gaze down. This is the good part. This is the dessert. This is why yoga was created. So we can sit in stillness and calm the mind, the nervous system. Helps the body find homeostasis a little easier. Shift your awareness into your breath. So find it in your nostrils. Notice the cooling in your nostrils on the inhale. And you might feel nothing in your exhale. And then see what you can discover further down into the uh, respiratory system, the passageways beyond your nostrils. Maybe you can feel your breath in your throat. And you can imagine, or maybe you can feel it in your lungs. Picture the air coming in and traveling all the way into the alveoli sacs where the transition takes place from inhaling to exhale. And relax 
to the next page. And as always, keeping the breath in the foreground. So always coming back to the breath if your mind gets distracted. And in the background, we can also notice muscles around the body. So starting with your face. Not trying to change or shift anything. We're just noticing, notice around your whole head. Your neck and shoulders. Notice your back. And notice the front side of your torso. Detecting your heartbeat. Notice your arms. Notice how your hands feel. Fingers. Come back to the breath. And then notice your, your, your pelvis. So just tilt it, just notice. Notice your sits bones. Your legs, down the length of your legs, through your knees. Into your ankles and into your feet. And your toes. And coming back to your breath, enjoying your stillness, your mindful awareness. And then here, maybe you do take a peek to see, not judgmentally, of course, to see if any tension has snuck back in there. See if you can be okay with that, but also invite softness in into those spaces. Like a little flowing sensation. Feels like the cells are suspended in fluid. A flowing tension. Maybe it'll dissolve, maybe not. And sitting with the breath for a few more moments. Maybe the mind wanders and comes back. start to bring our mind back to the breath, but this time start to deepen the breath with ease. Stretch your arms up nice and high. Bring your palms together down the heart center. And take that extra moment for gratitude. Think of at least four things you can feel thankful for in this moment. And then at the same time, take some time out of your day to practice 
Namaste Yoga. Namaste. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday.